Toastmasters! I'm your platform partner, your hustling homie, Jackson. All about making things happen and helping you take action. I want to share with you at least five different things that you can do while working from home doing social distancing. Five cool ideas that you can have that by the time that the social distancing is over, I mean, it's like think of it like you're just preparing yourself to become a whole new version of you. So that whenever, once you do go back outside, you have transformed yourself. You're going to take this opportunity and make it a blessing from God for you to become the person that you've always wanted to become. So I'm going to share with you those five things in five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, and boom. All right. So the very first thing is called fasting. Fast. Now, what is a fast? There's different type of fast. Typically, a fast is when you stop doing something. It's when you let something go. Now, many of us are probably already fasting because of something called Lent. For our people that are Christians, but this is not for religious purposes. When I say fast, I mean like don't eat food like at all for at least two days. Like no food. Now, of course, when I say this. You got to use your own discretion. I don't know if you got health issues. You might need to talk to your doctor. So you may not want to do this if you have some serious like diabetic issues or something like that. But if you can, a fast is an amazing thing that I'm going to do because I've done a three day fast before and it was life changing. And I mean, I became more clear with my thinking. I became stronger with my energy. I became closer with my connection with God. But here's the thing. It's, it's very difficult to do when you're outside and about. So the best time to do it is when you're forced to be in the house, right? So this is a great time. Now it's going to take discipline, but I would say if you're going to do a fast, just make sure I would do a water fast. That's what I'm going to do. So you tell me what type of fast you want to do. Now, maybe you just want to, instead of full fledged fasting, maybe you want to do intermittent fasting where you only eat for a six to nine hour period. So that's something different. You know, but let me know how that works out. So fasting is one I would encourage you to do. Second thing is if you can't do a fast or do a detox. So a detox means something when you give something else up uh, that may have something like sugar. Uh, and so you say no sugar for three to five days. Now, this is an amazing one. If you can do this, you will see your whole life transform. Did you know that sugar is like a drug? Did you know that sugar is more potent than most drugs? That your whole life, imagine how your whole life would be different if you just stop eating sugar. Now, I don't just mean white sugar. I'm talking about pasta, a lot of just processed foods and carbs. I mean, like the only sugar that, that you eat during this period would be like fruit. If it's anything that's processed or like mayonnaise or anything like that, I would say refrain from it for at least three days. If you can, do five days and watch how your life will be different. I'm going to do this and I'm going to share that with you. So that's the second is a detox. Now, the third I would say is you want to start exercising with a jump rope while you're at home. Now, a lot of people, they want to get their fitness on, you know, they want to start looking good, you know, working on their bodies. They want to run. They want some people want to run, but they can't do it. Some people want to walk. All of those things are great. I think anything that you do health wise physically is great, but I would say jump rope, the power of jumping rope. If you can get that is very easy and it's a great habit to develop uh, to get your heart rate going because the key of really good health is letting that heart rate increase for at least 30 minutes every day. So I would encourage you jump that rope. Fourth is read. Read, read, read. Find a good book. If you don't know one, get my book. Shut up and hustle. Go get W. Uh, what is that? DrJackson360.com. I almost forgot. But the power of reading, it will. It's like training an exercise for your brain, for your mind, for your writing skills. You as a toastmaster, or you as a creative person, you want to develop your brain power, your ideas, and your consistency, and become that amazing person. So I would say read at least 30 minutes a day for at least about seven days, and imagine and watch how your life begins to transform with just that one thing alone. So very last thing is I would say potentially try to refrain from sex. Yes, I know that's difficult if you are living with your spouse or someone that you love, but if you refrain from sex, imagine how your love life could potentially be so much stronger because now you all are appreciating on a deeper level. And now you're building anticipation for the day that you all do have sex. And uh, I'm telling you, watch how your life will begin to transform. So I want you to try these. If, which one do you think that you can do? Which one are you going to do? Uh, and let me know. Put it in the comment section. 
information but subscribe to the page like this video and share this video with your friends and family i'm your platform partner your hustling homie jackson all about making things happen addicted to action make sure you get that book series and i look forward to seeing you at the next video peace flip it peace 24 hours in a day